Welcome to the world's most beautiful lake, Lake Atitilan. After landing on Guatemala, I explored two days in Antigua, the UNESCO World Heritage Site, and I hiked in Acatenango, the active volcano. That was definitely the hardest hike of my life, and my body really wanted some rest. For that, I chose Lake Atitilan. Before showing you around, go and see how I came here. So I just made to Lake Titilan and there was no boats to go to my hotel. And this guy right here helped me with the boat. He called the hotel and we got a board now it's coming right behind me and he got like a kayak company right here so it's it's really cheap it's 30 good sell per person so if you ever come to Lake Atitlan try their kayaks he's the owner thank you so much man thank you so much you're welcome thank you bro he was he was so helpful seriously so helpful guy Just made to the room. This is one of the best, best, best ever room I have stayed. I'm gonna show you everything tomorrow. Currently, you can just see a small glimpse. Wait for the big view tomorrow. And this is that view I ended up yesterday. And welcome to the tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so hungry at the moment but before going to breakfast I want to give a small tour of the place where I'm staying this beautiful cabin look at the view over here so good so when we go inside we got a picture perfect view from the bed over here just look at that how amazing view is so today when I woke up the whole the sunrise was hitting on my face and I just woke up like that and I saw this view, this view from my bed. I was amazed. Seriously, I was amazed at all. Just look at that. And in between, there will be like boats going through the lake. And that is so magical. Most amazing part of this cab is here, right here. This is a sliding door. If you open that, you will be getting the best view ever for a toilet just look at the view over here uh, just look at that there are boats going there are people paddling over there can't get anything better than this and we got a wash basin right here and a mirror and this is a shower room so that's pretty much for the room i'm amazed with this room i wasn't expecting this i booked it from there online website i was gonna book a small room but when i was looking on the category i saw something new and this looks like pretty new as well like really brand new cabin so happy to stay here now let's go have breakfast and explore this beautiful town let's go and see what do they have for breakfast today Just got served with the breakfast. The place where I'm having the breakfast is the best backdrop ever in Lake Atitilan. Just have a look on it and see some of breakfast for today. And just in front of my hotel, there is like a small walkway 
which connects to the whole village and the whole hostel so here just taking a nice quick walk over here and when you stand over here you can see the big giant volcanoes over here that's volcan toliman and this is volcan san petro and the water over here is like really blue like blue blue like maldives blue now let's travel to the real man village it is a 10 minutes travel on this tuk tuk vehicle all the way up Now? Okay. Right, so it just need to go go to the mine village on the top. Ten. Ten? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Alright. Okay. Let's go. I got one more subscriber. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. bye. This is made to the top. This is a pretty little town. There's a church over there, and there are markets which the Mayan people come and sell their fruits and vegetables. And here there is the municipal corporation, and I think this is a police station as well. And on the school on the other side. It's a pretty basic Mayan village with their own world. I really love it. It's a small, little, cute town. So, I add on the street. There's a really nice restaurant and rooftop bar right over there. Let's go and check that out. Going to the top. Literally had food like one hour before, but with this view and their perfect menu, let's call it a lunch. When I visited Andigo, I had pepian, but I didn't like it to be honest. Um, I thought it's a national food and it wasn't tasting so good. But now from here, I got it. And it tastes so good, and now I'm a fan of Philippines. So I've been here for last two hours. I was just enjoying the view over here. You know, this is like so, so, so magical view from here. I don't know how to explain this. Just look at that volcano, that volcano. Actually, behind that, there is one more volcano right there. So there's actually three volcanoes and this blue lake. Man, there is nothing better than this. And it's time to say bye to this magical view. I was walking down. I found a viewpoint over here. Just look at that. You get the whole view from here. Guess what? I'm gonna fly my drone.
I came out for an evening walk and the views are just amazing. made to my restaurant for the dinner I'm gonna have a three course dinner today and it's gonna be fish I want to try fish from this lake I don't understand uh -huh. English <laughs> yeah. you're like talking talking I'm like okay yeah yeah so I will take orange juice uh -huh. but no ice no ice no ice, ice. yeah what our first one the juice orange juice without ice if I drink ice I'm gonna get sick we got our starters this is soup and some bread I got it okay thank you just got served with the main course let's get this done Do our final leg desert. If you ask me how was the food, I'm literally gonna cry. It was so 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 good food. The fish was like really good. I mean I never had this good fish in my life. It was fried fish. Bro, uh, everything was good. The starters, main course, and the dessert. I love it. I wanna cry. These are the moments I love. You know, having a good cuisine from a different country makes my heart feel so good. So that's it for the day. See you tomorrow morning. Lake Atitilan really made my head feel so good and this is a dream vacation place for anyone who loves nature and its beauty. Next day I will be traveling to one of the most beautiful hotels in the world. Wait for the next video. Bye.